Well, veterans in New Rochelle are fighting to preserve the city's military history. They want to make sure that the city's plans to redevelop the waterfront include saving the old naval armory. News 12's Carolyn Rowe is in New Rochelle for us with more on this renewed effort to make that happen. Carolyn. Well, Suzanne, they fought for our country and now they're fighting to save an armory they say means so much to this community and its veterans. We're very, very disappointed, uh, very upset, and this is a meeting of a, a real call to action. Dozens packed the American Legion Hall in New Rochelle Wednesday night discussing the fate of the city's waterfront, including the former naval armory. As Vietnam veterans, the armory armory means a lot to us. It's like a shrine and it should always be there. The veterans proposal to make the armory into a community center offering services to seniors and veterans among other things was turned down last week by the city. That would have made that into a community center and it would have been a venue for everybody in Rochelle. We would have uh, been able to uh, provide um, uh, a theater where they would have had concerts and plays and opera as well as sporting events. The city is still considering the new Echo Bay waterfront project that's been proposed by developer Forest City Residential that includes 285 apartments and 25,000 square feet of retail space as well as a waterfront park. I haven't supported Forest City and Echo Bay since it came to the table five years ago. City Councilman Louis Trangucci says the future of the armory is unclear. He says the developer wants to take part of the building down. The city also put out a request for information and more than 20 groups submitted ideas. He says he's disappointed the veterans didn't make it past the first round. It's a good project. It would be great for the city. It would be great for that area. Meanwhile, New Rochelle Mayor Noam Bramson was not available for comment, but has voiced his support of the Echo Bay project in the past saying the park and access to the shoreline will benefit the city's people. Now again, we did reach out to the city's mayor as well as the developer. No one returned our calls for comments. Meanwhile, the veterans fight is far from over. They say they're considering legal action. In New Rochelle, Carolyn Rowe, News 12. All right.